I'm Harley, and I'm gonna show you three of my favorite glute moves. Now, I've got Devin with me today, and Devin's gonna demonstrate these exercises. When you're doing them at home, ideally you have a bench, but if you don't have a bench, you can do it off the side of a couch or the side of a mattress. So this is how it works. The first one is called a hip thrust elevated with your shoulders on the bench. She's gonna hang her shoulder blades off the edge of the bench and her feet shoulder width apart just past her knees. So if I draw a straight line from her knee straight down, I'm gonna hit her heel. It's important it hits your heel and does not hit your laces because it's the difference between training your glutes and your quads. So from this position, arms out all the way across, we're gonna drive your hips up to the ceiling and back down towards the ground and keep driving through this. Devin's doing a great job of keeping her chin tucked in. She's looking forward the whole time. Last one, and relax. Okay, the next move, I'm gonna have you lay face down on the bench with your head down there and your lower body this way. Perfect. Grabbing underneath the front of the bench, palms up, and you're gonna contract your lower back and your glutes, raise your legs up and back down again. And up and back down. Now, for those of you familiar with the exercise Superman, this is sort of half a Superman, really contracting the glutes at the top. One more, and relax. Let's move on to the third exercise. You're gonna put your head on the ground right over here, and we're gonna put your heels up. From this position, we're gonna drive your hips up all the way to the ceiling and back down towards the ground. This is sort of an inverted version of the first hip thrust we did. This is a hip thrust lying on the ground. Your heels are up on the bench and we're really driving through the glutes. This one not only gets the glutes, you're getting a little bit of hamstring in there as well. It's a fantastic posterior chain movement, driving all the way up and down. Now, as we're doing this, let's make it a little more difficult. Here's a nice variation for you. If you don't wanna add weight to this exercise, which is really tough to do, I'm gonna have this foot disengage now we're gonna use one leg. So now drive up all the way with one leg and back down. So we're doing just as much resistance as we did before, but using only one glute. So it's twice as difficult. You feel that? Yes. It's intense, right? Last one and relax. Thank you, Devin. So there you have it, my three favorite glute moves.